Today I'm making viral one pot meals to see if they're worth the hype. With everything we have planned this summer, the last thing I want to do is a lot of dishes. So I went to the internet, onto TikTok, to see what they say is the best one pot meals. I'm excited to try these, see if they're any good. All right guys, let's get cooking. The first one I'm making is from Half Baked Harvest. This is her one skillet creamy sun-dried tomato, chicken, and orzo. Whew, that's a lot, that's a long one. And I can see how this went viral. It looks amazing. Now thankfully, I found a link to her website so I'm able to get all the ingredients measured correctly. Now if you wanna see the original video that has millions of views, I'll link it down below for you. Now first, I'm going to mix all of the spices together. So we have oregano, paprika, crushed red pepper flakes, and some salt and pepper in here. Next, we have one pound of chicken breast that is thawed. You can use chicken thighs if you want, but we are going to make these a little smaller so they'll cook a little better. Once your chicken is done, I'm actually gonna put it in the original container that it came in. So I'm gonna take one tablespoon of olive oil and pour it onto the chicken, and we're gonna mix this around a little bit. Oh, baby is awake. All right, so you wanna make it on a skillet that can actually go in the oven. So no plastic handles, make sure they're metal. And then we're gonna heat up another tablespoon of olive oil. Now, I love putting them back into the original container because I'm gonna throw that away. So now we're gonna take the spices and just gently rub them on each individual chicken. When all the oil is heated up, we're gonna put these right on. We are going to cook the chicken about three to five minutes on each side. All right, the chicken is done, so we're gonna take it off out of the pan. Now to this pan, we're gonna add the two tablespoons of butter and just get it till it's nice and melted. Now the recipe calls for shallots, but I like green onions better, so we're making it our own today. So we're gonna add just two green onions. We're gonna cook these until fragrant. Then we're gonna add about two cloves of garlic in this and then one cup of orzo. Orzo is like a pasta that looks like a rice. It's good. And then we're just gonna kind of mix this together and we want to kind of brown up the orzo a little bit. Once it's kind of browned up a little bit, the original recipe calls for wine, but I don't cook with wine, so we're just gonna add one can of chicken broth to deglaze it. Now we're gonna cook this about five minutes. Okay, we're gonna add one cup of heavy cream. Then we have two teaspoons of Dijon mustard about a third cup of grated Parmesan, and we're gonna eyeball this one this time. A little bit more, because you always need more cheese, right? Right. Then we have about a half cup of sun-dried tomatoes. I cut those up so they weren't so big. And then about two cups of spinach. And again, I'm just gonna do a few handfuls here. That's close, right? Close. And we're just gonna mix this all together until the spinach is nice and wilted. Okay, spinach is pretty wilted. Now it's time to add back on the chicken. Now, she got really fancy and added a little fresh rosemary on top along with some lemon. All right, let's taste test it. Mm. Holy. All right, that one is definitely a five out of five. The next recipe is that cast iron guy and he's making beef stroganoff. Now, I can see why this has millions of views. I mean, really, who doesn't love a good beef stroganoff? Okay, you're gonna start by cooking one pound of ground beef. He says in your cast iron skillet, but I don't have a cast iron skillet, so we're just gonna use a normal skillet and it will work just fine. Now, the one thing he's not using is a chopster, so that cast iron guy, I highly recommend one. So he said we're gonna add salt and pepper right now. I like that. Mix that in. Now, you said to add your garlic next, but I need to drain my grease first. That's one step that he didn't do, but I need to. All right, now we're gonna add a tablespoon of minced garlic. And we're gonna just cook that until you can smell it or until it's fragrant. I liked how he did this part. These are the seasonings I'm gonna add. I'm gonna mix it all up. Now we're gonna add one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. That looks about like a tablespoon. And then one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, whatever you call it, one tablespoon. Next, we're gonna add four cups of beef broth. Okay, this is the good stuff. And then we have two cups 
of heavy whipping cream. Okay, once you have like a little light boil, we're gonna add 12 ounces of egg noodles. Okay, now the goal of this is to cover all of the noodles. You don't want crunchy noodles. So we want them all covered. You know, you could easily do this in the Instant Pot too. Just, just throwing that out there. All right, we're gonna cook this for about five minutes. All right, noodles are cooked. Now we're gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese and then about a half cup of sour cream. And we're just gonna mix this until everything is melted and creamy and smooth. All right, his wasn't as juicy, so I'm just gonna let it sit on the stove top for a little bit. Now that is some good beef stroganoff. Next up, stroganoff. Mmm. Probably one of the best stroganoffs I've had. I love that it's ground beef and not the steak. Yes, huge fan, huge fan of this, five out of five. Now this recipe is from Mississippi Queen and she got it from Webb's Kitchen. Now the problem is there is no name for this one, so we're making a name ourselves. We're gonna call this Cheese Chicken Bacon and Biscuits. Now she got her chicken from a rotisserie chicken. They were just out of rotisserie chicken, so I cooked my own chicken in the Instant Pot. Now in a skillet, she added chicken from one rotisserie chicken. I added about three chicken breasts. They're kind of small, so close enough, right? Close enough. Then she added two cans of cream of chicken soup. All right, then we're gonna add in one fourth cup of onion. I think it was one whole package of ranch seasoning, so we're just gonna call it a win with that. Okay, close enough. Then a half package of bacon bits. And she bought Walmart, I bought Kroger. They're about the same price, but Always go name brand bacon bits if you want them a little cheaper. Not name brand, store brand. Then she did eight ounces of cream cheese. Gonna turn on the stove top here. It's a pretty good guess since we're working on a skillet. And we're just gonna try and combine all this together. I'm guessing that's, that is what she's doing here. Okay, while that's heating up on the stove top, we've gotta cut our biscuits. Now, I like to use a pizza cutter. You can use scissors, you can use a knife, but I'm gonna cut them into about six pieces. And she only used a few of them, but you know what? I love biscuits. So we're gonna use all the biscuits from the biscuit can. So there's eight of them. All right, the mixture is done. Now in the video, they actually moved this to a different pan. I'm gonna keep it in this pan because we want this one pan, right? No dishes here. So I got my eight biscuits. We're just gonna put these on and spread them all around a little bit. Now this recipe didn't call for a, a certain amount of cheese, so at least a cup, at least. Okay, now they didn't give a cooking time really, so she stuck it in at 375 pretty much until it was brown. So I will give you a time on this one. All right, we ended up going 16 minutes. All right, this one I thought was interesting. Let's just say that. So I'm curious of how it tastes. Oh. Okay, if you like cracked chicken, you're gonna love this. That was, it was really good, surprisingly delicious. I also give this one a five out of five. <laughs> there are reasons why these have millions of views. They're amazing. All right, if I had to pick a favorite, the chicken or so, highly recommend it. Now, if you try any of these recipes, let me know down in the comments. You won't regret it, I swear. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.